Hey girl, it is Thursday and I am on my way. I don't know why. I don't know why I get in this car with extra jackets and sweaters and coats and S on because it'd be hot in here. Even though it is winter, we we're experiencing some warm weather. We went through some extremely cold weather that now we're having like 60, 70 day, you know, 50s. And uh, uh, you know, I like the cold, yeah. I'm on the way to meet my mother and my sister at uh, for for. <laughs> they said breakfast, but shit, it's gonna be 11.30 by the time we get there, so we bordering lunch. But in some place, they say it's so good. My mom's been there before. It's like this little country place. She says so good. I've never been there before. So, um, I'm gonna try them out, see what they have. Anyway, so I am on my way to meet them. I got Taylor with me. He's in a mood right now. Tay, Big Red, Boo. Are you gonna say hello? You're not. Say why, girl? He in one of his moods, honey. I just take it how I can get it. He's in one of his moods, so we're not gonna bother him no more. Look like it want to rain, but the um, forecast didn't say anything about rain. It just said cloudy, but that don't mean we won't get a few raindrops here and there. But yeah, so I'm going on my way to meet them. They ain't never on time. That's why I didn't even try to get there. We're supposed to be there at 11 o'clock. I knew that they were not gonna be there at 11 o'clock because I called both of them at like nine to wake them up. And both of them, my sister was like, I'm gonna get up at 9.45. Now she probably stayed 30, 30 minutes away from the place, okay? So my mom probably stayed she probably stay like 15, about 15, 20 minutes now. So, you know, but my sister stays the furthest. So I call her and if you tell me you're going to get up at 945. Now, my sister normally likes to get decked out. So I know that it's going to take her time to get dressed, you know, get fly, whatever. So I'm not doing all that today. Okay. So with that being said, you're going to get up at 945. But okay. So, yeah, I didn't even try to tell Chris. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting there at 11 o'clock. The last time, and I did I did the video, my daughter and I met my sister and her girls, her daughters, at this place for brunch. They got there like an hour and a half late. And we were pissed. And I said, you know, the next time somebody disrespects my time like that, I'm going to go ahead and eat. And when they get there, depends on how I feel. If I want to stay, I'll stay. If I don't, I'm going to leave. Because to me, to tell somebody to meet you somewhere and you get there an hour and a half late, that's just plumb disrespectful. And I'm not going to allow, like Chris, he don't play that. You're not wasting his time like that. Period. And, you know, I, because my sister, I love my sister. This one I'm going to meet. But she is just, she don't give a damn about your time. She's just like that. She don't care. Taylor, you gonna say hello? No. Are you gonna say no? No. <laughs> okay. So, and my mama's always late, you know. So yeah, I wasn't about to get there and wait for them. Cause if I got there at 11 o'clock, it's 11 and 16 now. It's already 16 minutes in. I swear, I thought I heard my sister just get in her car when she called me. She says she's she didn't, but I think she did. I really want to go look at the Mark Jacobs tote. I'm trying to. I've been debating back and forth if I wanted to get one. I kind of do want to get one, but I want to just you know check it out for myself. But Taylor, what are you doing? You just taking pictures? Taylor, don't do that. <laughs> say bye. Are you going to say bye? No. He's not going to say bye. He's not going to say anything. So, check you later. Hold my hand. This is the name of the place. Big Ass Country Cooking. But girl, you know it's going to be hard not to get no bacon and no ham or something.
Wait, Tyler. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Hi. Hi, Mommy Terrace. Hey, Tyler. Well, here's me. He's here. Hey. Ma is late as usual. She was. I thought she I just heard her just getting in the car even though she claimed no I wasn't. Thank you. I'm not getting Tracy. Why y'all answer the phone? I've been calling. Oh, my phone and my purse. I'm calling. You got an attitude, honey. Hey. What's wrong with him, Renee? Can't you eat it? This is apple cobbler biscuits. My sister got a banana pudding. Here's your pancake. Oh, my goodness. Look at that pancake. That is crazy. Wow. <laughs> What she said, I didn't know she meant a whole mother. That is humongous. This is Taylor's food. This is my food. I got the collard grits. Why everybody always eat such a small side? You know what I'm saying? Collard greens, buckeye peas, chicken pastry, steak, collard greens. What you get? Yams. And what is that, mom? Turn your plate to the side. I can't see. Thank you. It's sausage and grits. You didn't get no pancake. Oh. And Tyler got, what you get, Tyler? Burger and fries? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl, I have a shopper with me. What'd you say, Ty? You want, where you want to go? A store. You want to go to another store. So we've been in TJ Maxx. We went to, where else we go, Ty? We went to TJ Maxx. Oh, yeah. Back to Ross. I gotta show you what I got, girl. Because I came here the other day and I was like, if I come back and they have it, I am going to get it. Because for some reason, it just captured my attention when I saw it. You know, so, okay, I'm trying to get off of this. Um, so, yeah, I, I really personally want to get back to the point that if I see a bag and it, you know, girl, people just walk behind your car. Like they got rubber bumpers on their A. And, um, Anyway, that woman just walked past my car. She almost got hit. I didn't even see her, but why would you walk past a car that is backing up? So anyway, I want to get back to the point where if I see a bag that I like, I and it's structured, you know, really nicely or whatever, that I just get it. it. Don't have to be a brand name designer. You know, no. Well, you know, yeah, like a specific designer, because after LV did me like they did me, it just really had me look at them in a whole total different way and actually rethink some of my purchases in a whole total way um it really did like i don't know it just did something to me so i am thinking like i'll do a video on it later because i don't want to be repeating myself but yeah maybe it's so the traffic is so thick out because it's thursday oh shit. i don't know but i was about to go home but Taylor wants to go to another store. So since I haven't been to Burlington that's so long, I'm gonna go oh shit. I'm gonna go to Burlington, check them out, see what they got. Cause I haven't been there. The only thing about Burlington is if you find anything, I don't know about y'all Burlington, but this Burlington, if you find anything, they never have enough cashiers. So most of the time I get frustrated and put it back because I just be like, yo, I'm not waiting in this line. This is ridiculous. So we about to see since my baby ain't ready to go home. You ready to go home, Tay? Yeah. I thought you you want to go home or you want to go to another store? I want to go to another store. <laughs> you go to another store. So since my baby was not ready to go home and he wanted to go to another store, I said I'll run over here to Burlington and see what they got. Girl, did I tell you that I lost a diamond hoop earring? I don't know where it is. I am so, oh, so, 
I need to replace it. I guess, oh my knee. Girl, I had some heels on earlier, but honey, I had to take them heels off because my knees, especially my left knee is giving me a fit. I hate that because I miss wearing my heels, but girl, I can't be having no knee. Knees hurt, that ain't that serious. I don't ask them shoes, quick. Tay, you gonna take your seatbelt off? You gonna take your seatbelt off? You heard what I, yes, you. So, me and Tay about to go into Burlington and see what they got. Girl, I finally got home. So, Taylor and I have been out and about running around today. You wanna come and say hello, Tay? He does not wanna say hello. He is eating his chocolate and playing with his food, his fake food that we purchased. So, while I was out, we went into TJ Maxx, Ross, and Burlington. So, from TJ Maxx, I picked up a, a few tops. Now, I love this top. I love the color of it, but it's just, you know, your regular button up with the three quarter sleeve that you can roll up with the two pockets on the front that I love this color, but I cannot fasten it. So I'm kind of torn, like, do I want to just um, have it, you know, like wear a top up on it and leave it open? Or if I want to take it back and get a bigger size, it was $24.99, but really, let me see. We slide the camera back a little bit. Okay, time. But honestly, I love this top. I just like the um the color on it. Let me fix my pants, child. But I just like the color on it. And I think the color is just so cute on my skin and for you know springtime, but you know, fastening up, I just can't fasten it. But like I said, I don't know if I want to leave it open because I do like it though. So this is what it looks like behind. So I got this black. This is a long sleeves. Let me show you this one. So this is what this one looks like. Long sleeve. And it's got a little slit in the back. That would look really cute with some jeans or something. So pick this up while we were out. I had to come home and get comfortable and get and just something just regular because child. I had on some jeans. You know how it is, girl. We come home, it gets comfortable. And I really, really wanted this blue and white pinstripe top. Same thing, button up. Um, and this is what it looks like. Just your, you know, plain button up. These shirts um, were $19.99. The beige looking one, like the, you know, off the cream beige looking one, that one was $24.99. And these other ones were $19.99. So I picked up these pants that I freaking love, but I could not get them over my booty. And so I gotta take these back, but I love these pants. I love the color, um, the style of them. Who are they by? Sanctuary, but and they are extra large, but honey, and I felt like if I could have just, I couldn't get this past my booty, <laughs> but I love these pants. They got the pockets in the back, pockets on the front, the ones on the side, and I want these so bad. I love, you know, like the movement of them, but I gotta take these back. I can't wear these. I picked up this dress. Where did this dress from? Burlington. I picked up this dress at Burlington. And I just loved this dress. And it is long and flowy. And I just thought this would just be a cute, you know, like spring. Actually, I could wear this now. Put like a jacket over it and wear some kind of shoes. But, and it's really cute on. It is so comfortable. And um, yeah, I love the fact that you know, if it's one of those days when you're feeling kind of big and bloated or whatever. And this with a denim jacket, oh my goodness, will look so cute. Yeah, definitely a denim jacket, a denim shirt, you know, or something like that. I thought about wearing these shoes I picked up the other day while we were out shopping with it. I think that would be cute. Yeah, it's got like that kind of bohemian kind of look. And I also picked up this, it's like a little wallet. I don't know, I've been into the small wallets more. This is from Betsy Johnson, and it's just something real cute that when I'm carrying a small purse or a crossbody or something like that, that I could just have, and I could put um, cash in the side there. And I got room for cars. It was like seven, 
eight dollars or something like that but you know betsy johnson makes some kind of little cute stuff so a little zipper on the back that i put coins in um so yeah put a few coins in the back and girl let me tell you let me show you this bag now the other day when i was out shopping i saw this bag and it really it was on the rack and i was like yo i went straight to that bag looked at it and i was like uh been a little bougie and was like dkny uh no nah, i don't want that so i left it but i thought about that bag and i thought about that bag and i thought about that bag and i went on the website it was 200 dollars in dealers it was 100 in another store on sale that I saw today. But before that, it was, I couldn't find it any lower than the regular price, 198 Yeah, $200. So I went back in there today, which is like three days later. And I said, if they have that bag, I'm going to get it. If they, Taylor, do not turn it on yet. I said, if they don't, it wasn't meant to be. Now, you know, girl, most of the time, Taylor, get away from my camera. You know, most of the time, Ross does not have stuff for like three or four days. They just don't. So when I went back in there today and I saw it hanging up, so I told, you know, a little security person because they had it, you know, all tagged up and stuff, tied up. I said, I want that bag. He was like, oh, I got one up there on the counter, a new one up there on the counter. What the other one was new, but he was like, yeah, that one's not been out or anything. It's on the counter. If you want it, you can get that one. <sighs> yes. Look at this bag. When I saw it, it was just, and it, I don't know if it's leather. I don't, I don't think it's leather but it's got like that smooth leather type feel which is great because I can wipe it off or what have you but when I saw this bag it is black and white I thought it was blue and white but it's black and white it's just like like a little sophistication about it I don't know but I was like oh my goodness I gotta get that bag it was $50 $49.99 $50 in um Ross and like I said online it was $200 so I was like I won it and I was like 200 that's not a bad price. But I was like, go in some Ross and just see if they got it first. But look how wide it opens up. You know, I've been looking at the Marc Jacobs, right? Probably still, still probably will get a Marc Jacobs. But when I saw this bag, look, it opens up. So, so this is my thought process and where I'm trying to get my mind to function and think that if I can find it less, but it gives me that same, you know, what I'm looking for, then maybe not spend 500, a thousand, $2,000 on the bag, but you know what I'm saying? Like, unless it's something I really, really, really want. And, um, you know, stop tripping and find alternatives. You know what I'm saying? So look at this bag, how wide it actually opens up. I love that about it. And on the inside, it is gorgeous on the inside. Um, check it out. It has, a back pocket here it has two pockets in the front one big back pocket in the back two in the front and it snaps closed you can um, make it smaller on the size or if you got a lot of stuff in it that you need to have you can open it up and look at this bag oh if well I, I don't know it can't fit over my shoulder but it can fit here which I always carry it or top handle but most of the time, I carry purses like this here. But I just love this bag. And I was like, do not. This is me talking to myself. It also has like the little leather on the handles here on the outside and the top. After LV played me like they did, sending me that used damaged bag, I had to really, really think about some of the purchases that I had on my mind to make. And it was just like, you know, if I could find quality, let's say any leather bags or, you know, what have you, then why spend the money just for the name? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking a little bit differently. And after I got that bag, it really, really got me to thinking so differently. But this bag, I just love this bag. And I feel like, um, I don't know. It just really has like a really a cute vibe and with the spring and the summer coming and i don't this would be my only white bag okay i don't usually carry white but i figured you know if i want to try out the white give it a spin you know what i'm saying and something like this to see if it's something i even want to do before i take the leap into something else so i love this bag it's got the black on the bottom and i just feel like it just gives you that little sophistication you know what i'm saying um so 
I was so glad they had it when I went back in there for $49.99, opposed to paying $200, which is the retail price, $198, I think it's the retail price. And then it was on sale somewhere that I saw today that just popped up today because I was looking for it for $100. But loving it. So if you like this bag, you know, you're looking for a big bag like this, a tote, a big tote. So, you know, go check it out and see if you can find it in your Ross. What are you doing? But anyway, girl, so that's what we got today. I am going to really be trying, kind of like popping in and out, like doing my vlogs. Like if I go out and buy something, I had done that one time, just like showing you what I bought for today, opposed to, you know, doing like great big hauls sometimes. So you definitely want to check out my vlogs because a lot of times in my vlogs, it's going to be like my current purchases and stuff like that, just to show you what I got. Um, so, you know, I could be putting stuff up instead of holding it out and stuff like that. Anyway. I am so glad that you took the time to stop by today. And tell him you want to say bye. No. He's busy. He don't want to say nothing. Taylor does not want to cooperate. Not one bit today. He's, I don't know, he does that sometimes. Are you going to say bye before I get off? No. <laughs> Ew. Thank you so much for stopping by. Did you hear that? He said bye. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscription button. Hang out with your girl for more vlogs, weekly vlogs, family vlogs, real life, daily vlogs, whatever, child. However, I decide to put it together. And we're going to holler back at you in the next video. Bye, girl.